Hi there, Mr. Shin again. Today I'll be talking about the thermoregulation of chin strap penguin. To know what thermoregulation is, we need to know what homeostasis is. So what is homeostasis? Homeostasis is the ability to stabilize and maintain the internal environment. This is accomplished by using the feedback loop system. Thermoregulation is the ability of an organism to maintain its body temperature within core temperature, despite the change in temperature in the external environment. For example, when the temperature is high, the body will find ways to cool it down, and vice versa. So why, why do animals need thermoregulation? If organisms do not regulate efficiently, they will become weak and die. Uh, they require the necessary optimum temperature to have their body function properly, such as enzyme function and metabolic activities. Thermoregulation prevents the body from hypothermia when it is, it is too hot or hypothermia when it is too cold. The chin strap penguin, Cygolosis antarctica, are commonly found in South Sandwich Islands or Antarctic Peninsula. They are easy to identify as they have a black band that goes under their head which looks like they are wearing helmets. They can grow up to 70 centimeters and weigh about 6 kilograms. They live on, the, they live on barren islands and during the winter congregate on large icebergs of sub-Antarctic region and the Antarctic Peninsula. However, they require solid snow-free snow ground for, for nesting. They feed on krills, shrimps, fish and squid. Let's talk about what exactly happens in the penguin. When there is a change in the atmospheric temperature, for example during summer, the body temperature increases. This change in temperature is noticed by the detector, the thermal sensitive neurons in the blood vessels and also in the skin. This information is then relayed to the interior hypothalamus, which are the effectors, which influences the rest of the body by sending nerve signals. Involuntary effects such as panting, where inhaled air cools the surface of the lungs and warmed air are exhaled, which loses body heat. Blood vessels dilate, which helps further loss of body heat and increase of cellular metabolic rate. The response of these effects is the overall decrease in body temperature. Furthermore, I would like to explain the process of vasodilation. Vasodilation is when the hypothalamus sends signal to the vascular endothelium cells. To decrease the body temperature, the vascular endothelium cells causes the muscles to become relaxed. In result, the arteries and the arterioles widen. More blood are able to rush across and closer to the skin where the heat can escape. In result, cooling down the body temperature. On the other hand, when there is a decrease in body temperature, such as during winter time, it is different. The change is detected by the thermal sensitive neurons in the blood vessels and in the skin again. But this time the information is relayed to the effectors, posterior hypothalamus, which affects the body, involuntarily affects such as skeletal muscles contracting, causing shivering, vasoconstriction, which I will talk about more, oxidizing fatty acids causing mitochondria to increase metabolic rate, and overall metabolic rate is increased for more energy to increase body temperature. Hence, the overall response of these effects is increased in body temperature. Created using Powtoon.